doing? Paul Sweeney at Kingston School Rock again with another Biffy Clyro. Yeah, I'm going in a bit of Biffy Clyro kick through now um, since they brought out their new album, um, the, the acoustic album, which is fantastic if you don't listen to it. Go listen to it. Some of the stuff's quite good. I'm not sure if it's been officially released, but some of the stuff's on iTunes. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to do this song's called Opposite Strike. And again, before I start, I know that this song is in a different tuning normally, right? But that tuning for beginners is very tricky. Chord shapes are a total no go the now, basically. Um, I will be uploading the harder version eventually if that's what anybody wants. If they do, let me know, I'll do it. Um, so, to play this song, we're going to stick a capo on three. Right? So, the chords that we're going to need is a D, a B minor, a G, an E, and an A. Right? So, the verse and the intro is the same, right? So, what we're going to use for the verse is we're going to use a D. We're going to do two bars of D, right? Just a nice kind of down, 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 Right, so two bars of the D, and then a B, and then a G. And then you go back to the D, and then a B, and then a G. Right, so then it goes back to the B, and then an A, and then an E, and then a G. Right, so what that is, it's going to go B. Tricky part, but try, just try to keep this rhythm going. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, right? Up to E, then a G, then a B again, B minor, then an A, then an E. We're going to go through that verse again, right? So D, two bars of that, then up to B, then a G, then a D again, two bars, then a B, then a G, back to the B, then play an A, then up to E, then a G, then a B. Quick on that, right? D, E, E, G. That's what it says. Take care of the ones that you love. Take care of the ones that you love. Right, so it does that twice. And then it's going to come into the chorus, right? So the chorus is A, then an E, then a G, then a D. Right? I'm not going to do it all again. Only thing that you need to watch out for is a wee interlude. 
when he starts to sing ah, you're going to do two bars of D into the chorus, right? That is that is it. Pretty, quite a simple song, if you do it this way, right? I would like love to upload the video of the harder way, because I think it, it does sound a lot better, because you've got the wee the hammer-ons and stuff like that, uh, and it's also opening up a new door, trying a different tuning. Quite a f famous Biffy Clyber tuning, you seem to use it quite a lot. Um, so if that's something you would really like, let me know. Put your comments below if you want me to do it. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe. Uh, if you like the lessons, don't forget you can donate, keep them going. Uh, hope you enjoyed the lesson. Peace out.